welcome to our Future Spotlight. I'm joined by one of our science writers, Alex Taylor. Alex, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So the cover story for our December issue is Combating Parasitic Diseases. What was the inspiration for this article? Well, Satoshi Omura, who is a member of ASBMB, won part of the Nobel Prize this year for um, his contributions to a drug called ivermectin. So the uh, article is an attempt to get at the science behind his discovery, as well as uh, the story of the development and implementation of ivermectin as a cure for uh, um, parasitic diseases in the developing world. So which diseases specifically has ivermectin been used to treat? Uh, ivermectin is used to treat uh, river blindness and lymphatic filariasis, which is sometimes referred to as elephantiasis. And these are two diseases that are caused by um, infection by parasitic roundworms. Um, uh, river blindness is spread by black flies and is caused when the worms infiltrate the bloodstream. They often cause a painful itching nodules under the skin, as well as sometimes permeating the cornea, which leads to the blindness that gives the disease its name. Lymphatic filariasis is spread by mosquitoes and is caused when the worms infiltrate the lymphatic system, which decreases the body's ability to fight off infection and also causes swelling um, known as lymphedema in the arms and genitals. So what's the progress been like as far as treating these diseases? Ever since the late 80s, Merck, which is the um, pharmaceutical company that developed ivermectin, uh, has been giving the drug away for free to treat river blindness in the developing world. Um, Merck has partnered with the World Health Organization and several NGOs to meet this end. Um, there's still a lot of progress to be made, but so far millions and millions of people have been cured of river blindness. Uh, for lymphatic filariasis, ivermectin is used in combination with another drug, and there are campaigns also throughout the developing world uh, to treat this infection as well. Thank you so much for explaining more about your, your work and um, really appreciate you being here. My pleasure. So to read Alex's article, be sure to log on to asbmb.org slash asbmb today and I'll be here next month with another feature spotlight.